Okie dokie. Hey, what is up, everybody? Can you all see? Can you all hear? Hopefully you can. And hopefully the sound is a little better than it was on Monday. Yes and yes. Cool. Woo! All right, um, I don't have headphones today, unfortunately, at least not right now. So I got to turn this up. Um, how are you all today? You all good? <clears throat> One second. Alrighty, I am ready. Let's see here. We had uh, a couple super chats on YouTube. Caleb Diaz says, hey, what do you think of the Mando movie Ahsoka Season 2 news? Uh, I'm going to assume you mean Ahsoka Season 4 movie news. Um, we'll probably get way more into it in the next Badonka Gonk. Um, but honestly, I mean, I'm up for anything. There's nothing about that news that I'm, you know distracted by or even necessarily hyped by just I'm, I'm always really uh, interested when storytellers are doing uh, new things and to take Star Wars from the small screen to the big screen is gonna be fun so I'm excited for that uh, Waka Flocka Chewbacca says hey Eric great to see your awesome face these streams are perfect because they start uh, at the same time I start my shift and because I love this game Star Wars and all else at blind wave here's to a great stream Awesome. Thank you, Waka. That's very nice. I uh, I hope work is going well. Uh, yes, I do have new glasses, finally. Alrighty. Alrighty. I think I'm all ready. It's always a mad scramble to uh, have a good, fun, full day at Blind Wave and then have a good, full, fun night at Blind Wave. Alrighty. All right, are we excited? I'm excited. Uh, last time, yes, we're gonna. We ended up at Kobo, which is a new planet that I am uh, trying out here. So we're gonna. I, I had to backtrack a tiny, tiny bit to get back to a meditation spot so that I could save my game. So we're gonna be starting at this uh, Kobo spot and heading back in this direction. So uh, let me do that real quick and we're gonna get to where there was a tar pit. So, oh yeah, there's, I forgot, there's actually the, we we'll ignore these guys for now, because the uh, shortcut that I'm looking for is right here. Are you gonna throw that all the way over here? That was hilarious. Okay, here we go. That was so good. Okay. We are heading up this way, this direction. There's going to be a uh, Bedlam Raider, I think it's called, and a B2 up here that we need to get by. And then we should be in the Tar Pit story spot. Good. Okay. All right, and then here we should be able to just kind of step in this tiny bit, and then this is where we were. So if we go up here, 
There's a pit droid over there. He's in distress. Um, I need to get over there because there's a chest as well. But uh, yay, now we're back and we can actually start where we were. So let's do this. The mic is way better. I'm glad to hear that. I'm sorry that you guys had to have the sub, the subpar mic last time, but we're very, very excited. Uh. All right, so we do need to try to look over there. Uh, I'm gonna try to turn this up. Hopefully it's not, the sound's not too crazy coming through the mics here. Okay, um, oh my god, there was a shortcut right here, <laughs> okay, it's not like, it's not like I lost a lot of time, but I didn't realize there was a shortcut right there, that's so funny, alright, let's go, let's go see what's going on with this pit droid, talk, stuck ship, huh? Tell me about it. Wish we could help. His ship is stuck. I mean, well, we could. We have the force, Cal. Can we not pick it up? It's giving me like a can't do icon. So I'm assuming that means that we probably can do at some point. Just not right now. I'm not really sure exactly. I figure I'd be able to, uh, to lift it. But I don't seem to have any type of prompt to do it. Hmm. There's got to be something here. Can I just not do it yet, maybe? Okay, can't do it. Uh, let's head over here. And pick up this. Oh, okay. Cal's outfit. Let's look at the new short beard. Okay, let's go with the. Yeah, it's been a little bit. It's been two days since I played, so yeah. Cal has a slightly shorter beard now. Nice. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Pickers, with the Super Chat on YouTube, hey Eric, looking forward to another great stream. A cool thing that took me way too long to realize on my playthrough is that you can pull the triggers whilst on a pipeline to go super speed. Much love. Oh, okay, that's cool. Nice. Um, ooh, I can change things. Ooh, dude, that's like Luke's jacket in episode four, hell yeah. Uh, scoundrel, we got kind of like a Han thing here, and then Hermit, that's very Obi-Wan on, uh, Tatooine design. Huh, okay. Kind of like this jacket. I might stick with Cal's Survivor look, just to feel a little bit more in the Cal role, the, the canon look, just for now. But, uh, what else do we got here? Ooh, some alternate shirts, too. Okay. I kind of like the Scoundrel thing here. Maybe I'll uh, work with the scoundrel shirt, and then pants-wise, yeah, okay. Hmm. I gotta remember to actually select these things when I uh, play around with them. I don't have any hair. So I can actually collect new styles and looks, that's cool. Uh, hmm. Now I'm going to have too much fun with this. Too much fun with this. This is kind of classy looking right here. I don't know. Um. Oh, and you can even change the colors. I just noticed that down here with L2 and R2. Okay. Nice. This is cool. Keep this uh, shirt. 
Kind of like the stripe down the edge. That's cool. Kind of like that. Nope, I keep not pressing... Um, select. Okay, this is kind of a, a cool look right here. Kind of like this. Let's go with this for now. Nice. Man, I'm excited to get to open more chests if I can do customization on Cal himself, too. That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, the fourth Kira on Twitch uh, gifted a sub. Thank you so much. This is nice looking. Looks good with this uh, color lightsaber, too. All right. Uh, we got some graffiti here. We can continue that direction. I might have to come, come back to help out this pit droid. Derelict Dam. We're definitely getting closer. I think I see a way out. Just past that creature. Let's keep going. Way out past, okay. That cliff over there. This is a big area. Okay. We're still on the way to Grease's Cantina. So let's head down this way. Let's see if this guy has any dialogue before we send him to meet his maker. Yes, no. <laughs> oh, there's a big animal over there. That thing looks scary. He's looking at me, too. I wonder if I don't think he throws anything. Don't they see the bigger picture? Negative. You don't see them either. But you're a droid. You don't have to. Raver sees. That's why I follow. Ravis. We all follow. He has the strength to lead. A strength these prospectors will never have. They'll understand in the end. If there are any of them left. You, guard this area and leave that body. Let others see what happened here. Not that they ever get it. Gordon. Okay, I guess Ravis is probably the uh, the leader of the Bedlam Raiders, I'm going to assume. I wonder how far he walks if I just let this play out for a bit. Does he walk, like, away? Or does he stick around this area? What body were they talking about? Leave the body. Is something down there? No, he just hangs out there. Okay, let's take this guy out. He's going to pull out his... Oh, he's still alive, too. Okay. Oh, he has a strong attack. My, uh... There we go. Oh, oh, okay. Come on, Eric. You can do this. All right, they have a multi-attack. That we can block. My block needs to happen quicker. Ooh! Ooh, what a finisher! Damn! Damn, Cal! Okay! Alright, that was my first battle of the night. Could be better. We're not bad, but we could be better. Looks like, oh, this is the body they were talking about. These raiders are nothing but killers. Okay, murdered prospector. The raiders who patrol the gorge appear merciless in prosecuting, persecuting trespassers, acting as judge, jury, and executioner on any hapless prospector caught in their sights. Well, that's not nice. Okay, we got a meditation circle here at the Derelict Dam. 
So uh, I did use a decent amount of um, stems right there. So we will go ahead and do a rest. And we will jump into the skills because we have one available. Let's look at survival. We got one skill we can go up in survival. Um, improved stem formula. Cal recovers additional life. Let's go ahead and do that one. Nice. Uh, yeah, if you guys had missed the first stream, uh, it is actually available right now here on Wave Squadron. You can watch it. But if you don't want to watch the entire thing, um, this weekend, probably on Sunday, uh, one of our editors, Ultra, will be combining these two streams and doing like a highlight. So you can watch that. I mean, you can watch that if that's what you're interested in. You don't have to take up a whole lot of time. But you can also use it to kind of catch up for whenever you want to watch my streams live. All right, so those guys are back over there, but I think they might leave me alone. We want to head that way towards the uh, the beast, but I'm just curious to see what's over this way first. Oh, that's one of those guys. Okay, this looks like it might be uh, a heck of a battle. I don't know if I should head this way. But you know me, jumping into the fray. Can you slow for a bit? Oh, he picked up a rock. Okay. Oh, he's, he's, he's not the, oh, damn cow. Yeah, okay. Let's scan that. Whew. That is a Garako. Um, let's see, Garako make their homes amongst the bluffs and crevices of Kobo and will defend them against any interloper. All right, so I really like the design here too. It's really cool looking. A powerful and surprisingly fast beast, the Garako is notable for hurling whatever it can find at any who incites its ire. It does not seem like there was any peaceful way out of that battle. But uh, I surely am going to get rewarded for this. Mushrooms? Oh, we got a scan here. What do we got? Nest. Looks like it dragged its prey back here and. Uh, some type of horned beast. Okay. Oop, what we got up here? Force ability? All right, let's do that. Cool. I want to thank everybody for being here today. Um, yeah, we will be uh, reacting to the Anakin Obi-Wan uh, Clone Wars style animation thing, uh, probably during the next Badonkagon. And then for those that weren't here last stream, yeah, I, I'm i not kidding. I, I could have picked this up and used this as a weapon, I bet. Cool. Uh, but yeah, for those that weren't here last stream, um, I haven't played this game. Um, I won't say it was easy to avoid, uh, you know, the the feeling of wanting to play it, but I was just very, very busy both professionally and personally over the last couple months. So uh, I should at least say that I feel blessed that I'm able to play the game in a lot more complete format. Because I hear that there was a lot of glitches upon launch, and uh, I might have had like maybe one glitch last need to stream. Way through here, Grease is gonna be surprised to see us, huh? 
Uh, now, I have, I've also since read Jedi Battle Scars that Grease lost an appendage in that book. So I'm going to assume when we see him, that continuity is going to stay here. All right, I think we're meant to go that way, but I kind of want to explore this way a little bit. See what's over here. Oh, here's somebody. They're wearing a... I think this is a prospector. Oh, they're okay. What's up, bud? Who are you? It's okay. We're friends. What happened? We got ambushed by the raiders. I ran. I don't know where the others are. Um, what are you doing here? What were you doing here? Prospecting. Uh, trying to make a living. But the tar has jammed all the equipment. And then there's the raiders. In the bugs. It's too dangerous for you here. You should go. I will. I should go. Once I know it's safe. Okay. Got I'll be okay. Else? I'll go once I see my chance. Nice. I, I kind of like his helmet. It's a cool design. Uh, what does we got going on here? An elevator? Can't use this lift yet. Can't use it yet. Okay. Uh ah! ah Jesus BD1 did you see that? No, you were busy on the crafting table, weren't you? Great time to change up our equipment. Um I actually don't think I need to change up any of my equipment. I was just curious and then I was attacked. Jesus, these things just pop out of the ground. <laughs> okay, uh, I need to try to pay attention and see if there's any visual cue for that happening, or else I'm going to be surprised every time. Looks like maybe we can... There's an iridescent glow to this cliff face. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Does this lift work? Can't go this way. Nope. We got a collectible down here, though. Ah! We got a collectible down here, though. What we got? What we got? Weapon material. Light metal. Cool. Always like some options. I saw you before it happened, but I still didn't see what it kind of looks like. Man, there were so many here. Okay, really got to try to pay attention. Do I see any indicators? There's a weird big plant over there that I killed. Oh. These blaster marks are messy. Lucky shots. Let's see, this Bedlam Raider, the body of a long-dead Bedlam Raider, clearly killed by blaster bolts, which mark the body indiscriminately. So they said there were bad shots on this one, so... Maybe it was prospectors that aren't very trained. Aha! I see you now! Okay, more of this iridescent material over here. Check it out, BD. I can foresee a lot of backtracking in this game. I even shouldn't say backtracking. I can see a lot of needing to explore areas thoroughly in order to fully appreciate the level design. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and... Hmm. Okay, more of this iridescent material. So big! Hi! Are you nice? I hope you're nice. Okay, so... I don't... Oh, what's this? Damn flow pipes. 
The positioning of this flow pipe across two reservoirs indicates that it was used to control the movement of tar between the dams in order to maintain a safe level for prospectors to work. Okay, interesting. I wonder if we need to cross that. But first, let's head this way and see what there is to see. Don't fall behind. PD wants to scan something. What are we scanning? These old dams aren't held together by much. Crumbling dam wall. The lack of maintenance and the relentless creep of time has visibly worn many of the gorgeous dams down to a dangerous state. Cracks and leaks can be seen everywhere across the aging surfaces. Okay, can't head that way. I don't think I can get up this. So, we'll continue on. Um, probably need to jump down there. And then maybe there's more of those weird exploding balls. Please let me go. We won't prospect in the gorge again. You hear that? No, you where's, won't. Where's that coming from? Do it. No! Oh, I wanted to help him. Another one down. Ravis will want to know. Roger, Roger. Things weren't this easy in the war. Sir? Yeah, there's no challenge here. No fight. There's not a warrior among them. Just petty thieves. At least it makes them easier to clean up. In my day, the enemy had some fight. Now, they all just reek of desperation and fear. I can't smell anything. My olfactory sensors appear to be offline. Do I even have olfactory sensors? I don't think you do. And I don't think I'm gonna feel bad at all for what is about to happen. Here comes another one. Oh, so I guess this means I'm in command now. Is there another one or? So it looks like the roller mines might be attracted to things here. You got one good hit in, bud. Okay, let's see here. Roller mine is an enemy type. Force pushing the droid away from you causes it to detonate. Force pulling the droid to you will activate its timer, but allow you to use it like a grenade. Okay, the roller mine is a Kobo curiosity. Although it is known to be a Kobo original creation, and presumably made for blasting through rock and debris, its true origins lie shrouded in some mystery. Some say it was created by one of Kobo's earliest prospectors, a prolific inventor, but no single story can corroborate another on the matter. Okay, so just mysterious rolling mines that we, I'm going to assume can use as weapons and puzzle solving equipment. Okay. Let's be careful because there were two in here. I wonder if they respawn. Oh, okay. Okay. What's this? You, I was trespassing, blasting. 
that's not good. Prospector was held by Bedlam Raiders, who claimed the valley as their territory. The Prospector ran, and the Raiders gave chase. Commando droid? Totally is. Good hits, good hits. Damn, okay. I, uh, I mean, I feel like I could be playing better right now, but I'm really trying to get down the, the timing of a lot of attacks just because I feel like that's going to benefit me later. Ooh, I started back here. Damn. Okay. Um, man, I need to be, a, I, for, I kind of forgot what type of game I'm playing. <laughs> I started real far back. That sucks. That's okay. That's okay. We're, we're, we're learning. Um, that means I didn't collect any of this stuff, right? Damn. It's okay. We can keep going. We can keep going. Let's go kill this thing again. We gotta backtrack a bit. I'm sorry. Sorry for not taking it as seriously as I probably should. Collections, I'm not seeing the blue glow, so I'm going to assume that I have collected it and I don't need to go back and get the collections again, which would be a good thing. Uh, but all I have here is this faint little memory of one, so we got a little bit of practice in another one of those beast fights. So let's try to quickly get back to where we were. these guys that's still open uh, we got a super chat on YouTube this is all of my bunny says hey Eric fellow Ohioan here your vids have gotten me through some tough times so thank you well, thank you so much and thank you for the $10 super chat I'm glad that we could help. You're done. All right, we got to get to that commando droid. Focus on the enemy. experience back we're gonna take this more seriously now didn't miss these all right let's go ahead and scan this uh, let's see a BX droid so highly acrobatic able to block lightsabers b1 and b2 foot soldiers separatists <clears throat> sorry I gotta check something Okay, sturdy and agile, and with advanced programming, the Viber Sword armed BX droid is much more dangerous adversary than any of its contemporaries. Yes, they are. 
This is ominous. What have we here? Has a Jedi come wandering into my lair? Is this like a legendary battle or something? What is this? I'm guessing maybe I... Shard. Is door open. It does. What are you doing down here? Waiting, watching, always watching. I keep guard. Lucky you, right? Right. I expect you're exploring. Seeking treasure, seeking glory. As luck would have it, there might be something right in front of you. <laughs> Okay. Still here. Why should I? Why should we? You're wasting time distrusting me when there's who even knows what right here for the taking. It's as if you don't want the treasure, frankly. Hmm. Let's see if I can make it up here. Can. Let's get this. Okay. I keep seeing these like power generator things. I'm unsure if I'm supposed to do anything with them. They really draw the eye. But I'm gonna guess I just can't do anything right now. And maybe I can go up and speak to this person again. This wolf. Okay, I don't think I can do anything right here. What's this? I don't think we can slice that. Can't slice it yet. Okay. Uh, the exit's this way. I'm not really sure what that is. But like the pit droid thing, probably something we can come back and do. I knew I saw something! Yeah, that was the guy that ordered the commando to come after me. Ooh! I wanna see it. Whoa! It's got a cape. That's so cool looking. The colors are locked, but that's a cool looking thing. I don't have a poncho, and I'm very upset by that, but that's pretty cool looking. What have you found? You want to press it, right? Oh! Oh! Okay, now let's find a way out of this tarp pit. How far is the range on those things? Okay. Okay. Um, there was one... Okay, follow. Follow me this way. I 
Once you pick it up, it starts to detonate, right? Shit. Damn it. I forgot about you down here. How do I get it all the way over there? Request a hint? Um, let's just try it. Gotta get past this tar. That dam give you any ideas, BD? Hmm, okay. Okay, all right. Let's bring this one over here. Come along, buddy. Might be useful. So that will bring it up, and I can break that open to get across there. But there's a part of me that wants to figure out how to get it down there. So if I bring it down here, will it follow me across the gorge? That's the question. Follow! I dodged! Uh, oh crap! A new skill point. Uh, Blake Burgess, Super Chat on YouTube. Good news, there's a poncho. Bad news, it's behind a boss. Oh, okay. Well, I will probably have to explore a lot to find a lot of things. You'll know when you see it. Okay, interesting. I uh, appreciate the Super Chat. Try not to give too many hints, but I do appreciate that there is a poncho in the game somewhere. Thank you so much. But I will say, guys, I've gone many, many months now, uh being almost completely unspoiled for the game, so try not to uh, to reveal too much, but I, I very much appreciate um, the super chat. Thank you. Oh, look at the fossil in the wall there. Okay, let's climb up here. Wait. BD wants to scan. Let's take a look. Creature bones. The bones of some ancient creature, partially exposed by excavation. It must date back several centuries. Okay. Let's see. You probably can jump over here. You don't want to fall. Ah, he looked down. Up 
ever lived here is long gone. I wonder what they were. Abandoned encampment, scattered debris, rudimentary encampment. Whoever here, whoever was here possessed some mechanical ability, but no evidence of their work remains. Okay. <sighs> Making. <laughs> oh, that thing had no chance, man. The interaction here. Get some more force ability. Does this open up a shortcut? I think it does. Okay, that will lead me back up here. I don't think we can head that way, and we must need to increase our force more to pick this up. So, that elevator is probably pretty properly. Placed. So let's head back. I'm in bad shape, buddy. Like I heard somebody. Yeah, that's right. Let's go ahead and grab this roller mine. Have him follow us. Open this up. Nice. There. That should do it. Let's keep moving. We're almost there. Pulling me under. Oh, the new one's making a friend. You must have to eat so much. BD1! Are you okay? Oh no! Oh. Look at that repulsor drive there. Didn't I tell you to be more careful about who you scan? Come on. Should have left you in that rat tar nest. Ooh, rat tars. Uh, curious to a fault and fearless, BD-1 will scan anything that moves, even if his target couldn't eat him. <laughs> okay, let's uh, have a look-see. What's over here? Another thing we can't do. Uh, Toronto shell. Towering Toronto shells are, um, are as much a landmark of Kobo as the majestic mountains or cratered swamps. Usually found looming over the path to Dredger Gorge, they subsist on fully her, uh, uh, her, her, how do I say this word? Herbivorous? Like herbivore. Herbiv herbivorous diet. Though those who get up close to the inquisitive creature's enormous mouth often find themselves doubting if that's the case. Well, hey, I mean, our herbivores in our world will still eat whatever they can. Um, I've seen cows and deer munching on mice and stuff like that plenty of times. Okay, looks like uh, some type of lift. <laughs> it 
They walk funny. Came from here. <laughs> Completely missed that. Is that one of the dudes from, uh, Oh man, what was what were their names? I can't remember what they were called, but they're the things from the other planet in the first game, right? How the hell do I get up there? Boggling. That's right. from Bagano. That's right. Okay, there's a boggling up there. Um Better kill this thing, it's freaking me out. I think this needs to be this way. Get this. Scrapyard head, nice. Ooh, okay. Is that Boglings? You're a long way from Bogano. Yeah. Boglings. They probably found their way from Bogano from Greece. The humble Bogling was thought and. Uh, was thought endemic only to Bagano, but has somehow crossed the distance. And heckles of the creature now thrive on Kobo. Fluffy and agile, their ability to run on their toes gives them great dexterity amongst rocky and craggy terrain. Yeah, I mean, they probably just infested the world from Grease coming here in the, uh, in the ship. I don't know, maybe. You think I could do that, BD? Ah, okay, cool. Mario jumps. Meditation. All right, cool. I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm really enjoying the expor exploration here on Kobo. Let's do a rest. Um, I do have a skill point available. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's go into lightsaber and let's continue with the single blade because that's the one I've been using the most. Press a uh, triangle while in the air to attack straight down into target below. And the strike reaches further. I kind of like the new aerial attack. Let's do that one. Actually, I can't. I cannot do that. Not yet. I have to wait. Um, what's the new thing on resilience over here? Teamwork reduces time required to heal with the BD1 stem. Okay. 
Addled Mind. Increase the amount of time enemies will attack other enemies while confused. Telekinesis. Um, wrench groups of enemies closer. Uh, maximum force is increased. Okay. Let's go double bladed. Hold to deal strikes. Uh, I have that one. Vortex dive. Okay. All right, let's do this one. Um, Michael with the super chat says, uh, there was a Rick and Michonne TV show trailer today. Hoping you and Calvin can check it out. Hoping to see it on the channel. Yeah, we did. It was what right at the end of the day that we saw something like that came out. But uh, we were far too busy because we are catching up on What If and Echo today. So it was a very Marvel-oriented thing. But maybe, maybe we'll do that. Um, we'll see. I mean, we did The Walking Dead, and it was a very, very long show and i'm actually kind of good i'm not really super excited by the spin-offs of the walking dead i kind of felt like it was a little too much in any ways but i do like rick so maybe maybe we'll get him back uh seven seven link seven echo was so mid and bad well echo you might maybe Maybe watch it with a group of people that you enjoy watching stuff with. Maybe you'll like it more. That's certainly how I felt today. We had a very good time. Um, let's see here. So the Boglings, can I interact with them? No, they run away. Not so fast, though. Oh, This is the southern reach of Koba. Wait! <gasps> I can interact! Oh, good puppies. What a good puppies. All right, BD1, where'd you go, bud? Not a bad change of scenery. Whoa. This place should be around here somewhere. Yeah. Look at that. This planet's huge. Is that your ship came down, Dredger Gorge? Yeah, we had some uh, technical problems. Probably met the Bedlam Raiders then. Attacked us as soon as we landed. Hmm. Glad you're okay. What y'all doing around these parts? Looking up an old friend. Grease Drydus? <laughs> Grease? Oh, shoot, I know him. I, I run the stables in town. Uh, my name's Mosey. Mosey. And Cal. That's a good name for that Speaking accent. <laughs> Why are you Mosey. Little droid? <laughs> it's good to see a friendly face. Likewise. Well, pass seems clear from here. Shouldn't get in any trouble. I should go looking for it. Oh, and uh, say hey to Domodendra when you get in town. She uh, doesn't take kindly to strangers. We understand. Doma Thanks for the advice, Mosey. Bet. Okay, Mosey seems nice. So that's the town down there. The Bedlam Raiders were formed of several disparate bandit gangs on Kobo, unified into one group by Ravis. From their base in an abandoned Lucre Hulk class battleship in Kobo Swamp, uh, and with the ship's droid army is at their, at their command, they terrorize Kobo and the wider system. So they are actually based at that Lucre Hulk. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Looks like someone's been stacking rocks, which is cool. Okay, uh, let's have a look-see what all we got going on. Big, wide, open area. Lots of... What's that up at the top there? That's cool. Let's look at our map. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Kobo's huge, but we are trying to make it over to that village to find Grease before we uh, try to exhaust our exploration, I think. Ooh. Is this like a nest? This seems nest-like. Okay. Is that a mount? 
Hey, didn't expect to see you so soon. Thought I'd check out the stables. Well, these ain't it. I'm just tending Brutus here. He's an echo. Stables echo. down yonder in town, and if you find a beast you want saddled, drop on by. Okay. Keep an eye on Mosey. Thanks. Cool. So this place is so big, you need <laughs> a horse or uh, whatever that thing is was called just now. Um. Yeah, okay, secret. <gasps> Fool beard. I don't know, I think I might need to go full beard. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a, um, it's been a, it's been a long stream, and Cal has he's he's follically gifted, let's say. But let's go good old full Jedi beard for now. This is kind of fun. We can shave later if we need to. Get off Cal's back. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um Let's head down and let's just try to get to where we're going. I can always explore later. It feels like Kobo is gonna be a very big world. But it certainly is pretty. Feels rude, but I guess I'll do that. Oh, they have shields. Very powerful shields, too. Okay. That guy died for this. Come on, you blasted beast. Move. They got a Nikto here. You come from Dredger Gorge. And still walking, huh? And folks don't last long around here. Especially ones poking around Raider turf. Wasn't exactly the welcome party I was looking for. Sounds like you could use a drink. Monk will whip you up something nice down in Pylunes. Thanks for the tip. Monk and Pylunes. Pylunes is the place. Monk is a bartender, I'm assuming. Is that the same cantina? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Uh, those beacons, things that are... Ooh, look at these guys. Those, like, beacons up in the sky are meditation points, right? I believe they are. A lot of them down here. Let's go ahead and save here. Rambler's Reach. There's another desk there. Um, let's look at our map. We're still heading forward. There's a lot to explore, though. It's, it's not overwhelming, but I didn't expect to be able to explore quite this much. This is kind of cool. We made it. 
It'll be good to see Grease again. In a long time. Maybe he knows where the others ended up. See her stuck in the past. Marin wandering. Ancient history. Hmm. Okay. The crew is splintered, I suppose. Not really sure what building exactly is going to be the one we want. I guess up here. Ah, there's a clod. <laughs> ah, what's what's the name of their species? I can't remember. Oh my gosh. Who's the stranger? You don't look like no raider to me. Quick, just act useless. Easy. We're not looking to cause any trouble. Where's the cantina? <laughs> right over there, newcomer. You can't miss it. Oh my gosh, that's great. Does he have an eye patch or something? That's so cool. Guido. Huh? What? And Gulu. Guido and Gulu. Wow. All right, Rise of Skywalker representation right there. Did not expect that. Okay, I think this is where we're going. Oh. Think you can pull a fast one on us? It was all just a misunderstanding. Hey, Bedlam Raider. That was so cool. Uh oh, is this that? Rave is, yeah. We cannot do. Oh, he's huge. This thing sold us a priceless relic. The key we have been searching for. Except, of course, it's fake! Okay, that's intense. <laughs> I thought it was the real deal, Ravis. Honest. Oh. I believe you. But mistakes like these cannot be tolerated. Let this be a reminder of what happens when you cross the Bedlam Raiders. Kill him. How's not gonna let that happen? Enough. Walk away. <laughs> Run away, frog. A Jedi. <laughs> He's not afraid. Remind our friend here why his kind are supposed to be dead. That is it. down impressive next time you want to pick a fight you go through us <laughs> oh, what a delight to see one of your kind in action after all these years he's not afraid noble Jedi Knight if you stay your half, I shall withdraw in peace. Okay. Be seeing you. Mm. This is him, Doma. This is the one who seems stood interesting. up to the Bedlam Raiders. Mm, all right, that, that's enough, Turgle. Turgle, get over here. Yes. 
Oh, that's a Doma. Okay. Your Doma. Whoa, Doma's. Yes, what a cool design. You got a name, Jedi. I'm Cal. This is BD1. We'd uh, appreciate it if you kept this quiet. Hmm. Well, out here on the frontier, only way we survive is by sticking together. That's right. You didn't have to step in just now, but you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> I love these alien designs. We'll keep your secrets safe. Cal. I'm sure we could both benefit from it. Thanks. Might be nice to have a Jedi in town, yeah. All right, a boss was defeated. The Prospectors of Kobo, relatively rich in natural minerals and some archeological interests, Kobo has attracted a steady trickle of prospectors in the last several decades. Not all of them stuck around or survived, but those that do live a thrifty life, ever searching for enough scratch to survive. And then we defeated Zeke, Ziek. Let's talk to them. Uh, the Gendai Ravis is the leader of the Bedlam Raiders. Like, Dirge? Like, Gendai Tevrioski, the, the Clone Wars cartoon? <laughs> well, okay, that's why he's not afraid of Jedi. <laughs> Holy shit. He orders his lieutenant to kill Turgle after being sold a fake key. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, oh, what a great character for a game. That's going to be, wow. Uh, he was already pretty impressive in terms of his demeanor and uh, the way that he interacted with Cal there. But that is so scary. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so scary. I need to look at all these. I'm sorry. Unofficial mayor. Oh, unofficial mayor of Kobo. I was wondering if Doma was like a title, but it does seem to be a name. Doma has seen the outpost's ups and downs over the decades. Of all our many tasks, the most difficult is keeping Turgle alive. Uh, we also have Turgle, uh, a schemer by nature. Turgle is always getting himself into trouble with the Bedlam Raiders. After Cal saves his life, Turgle feels indebted, indebted to the Jedi. Any more? Uh, I'm going to pop up here. I should be able to just go to databank. Uh, databank main recent Ramblers Reach Outposts. At the mouth of the Kobo Mountains, and I'm sorry, everybody, if you're not really into reading codexes and databanks, I so am. So this won't be in the highlight if you want to watch the highlight later. Probably won't be in the highlight. Uh, where steep slopes meet va uh, flat valley plains lies the Ramblers Reach Outpost, the oldest post-republic settlement. Oldest post-republic settlement on the planet. The outpost is built around a dust bald main street and several smaller side streets. The main street is flanked on either side by a well-worn cantina, uh, one owned by Grease Dritus, and a market run by the town's de facto leader, Doma Dindra. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty much... Uh, Mosey uh, runs the outpost stables and is a trained tracker and hunter. She is the first to welcome Cal to Rambler's Reach and warns the Jedi about the Bedlam Raiders. Okay, I think that's pretty good on the databank for right now. Okay, let's talk to these guys. Remember to swing by my shop later. Will do. Okay. Oh, Cal, I can't tell you enough how grateful I am you saved me. Anytime. And those moves! Incredible! Where did you learn to do that? I thought we agreed not to talk about that. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. But do you think you could teach me a few tricks sometime? I really don't want you to hurt yourself. But Doma says that's what I'm best at. <laughs> I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later. 
Okay, that's funny. All right, uh, I think Grease might be in this building. I'm personally, personally, I am really feeling Cal with the full beard. He's kind of got a Kyle Katarn thing going on. Um, before we head into the cantina, I'm going to take a very quick bathroom break. So I will be right back and then we'll continue on. I hope you guys are having a good time. I'm having a good time and we're continuing to have a good time uh, right after this. All right, we're back. Man, I can't believe it's already almost 7.30. I'm gonna have to end up doing what I do for Cares of the Kingdom and play for eight hours, not three, jeez. Okay, let's go in here. Man, it's so detailed. That's a uh, server droid. Oh. TTAL droid. Pylon Saloon. Wow. Okay, cool. Ah, potential customer. What'll it be? Nothing. Thanks. Oh, well, that's a mistake. I'm looking for an old friend. Four arms. Harry. Big mouth. Ow. Vertically challenged. You can come out now, old boy. The coast is clear. I tell you, monk. Yes. The Raiders are gonna be the end of this town. <laughs> we got no hope, zero, zilch, nothing. How you doing, BD? <laughs> <laughs> His hair looks so good. Cal, get, just get over here, you son of a boggling. Oh, oh, it's been a while. I missed you, kid. Hey. Let me look at you. Oh, you look terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see you too. Chris. Come on, the beer looks good. Hey, are you taking care of him? Are you taking care of the manners? Well, uh, we ran into some trouble on our last job. What sort of trouble? The Imperial kind. Oh, okay, I should have guessed. They've been creeping around Kobo too lately. Oh, have they? Gyro's burnt out on the Mantis. We'll need your help to get moving again. Yeah, sure, whatever you need. Come on, grab some seed. Listen, Monk, get my friend something special to drink. Refreshments. One slippery Monk coming right up. <laughs> Just like Welcome his driver's <laughs> seat. The finest dive this side is up <laughs> Yeah, your description uh, didn't do it justice. Here's sand in your eye. Monk and I picked it up from the previous owner to a... Well, uh, well... He caught a fatal case of blaster poisoning courtesy of the Bedlam Raiders. And we've okay. been introduced. You okay, Grease? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> as long as I don't have anything they need. Hey, what happened to the Manus? Oh, we are on Coruscant. 
Gathering intel for Saw Guerrera. Things got bad. Only two of us made it out. Still not over that, by the way. The doing feels pointless. The Empire's only growing stronger. Things, uh... Haven't been the same since the team split up. Yeah, hey, we had some good times, didn't we? Huh? Me, you, the space witch, Seer. Have you talked to her lately? Marin's always on the move, exploring new places, making new friends. I was talking about Seer. <laughs> no. It's been a while. Mm. You? Well, her credits helped us get this place off the ground, but she hasn't visited yet. She's very busy with this new project. Hey, Cal. Why don't you relax a little before we fix the manis? The galaxy can wait a couple hours. Well, we should probably get moving as soon as we finish up. I don't think Cal relaxes. Well. room down in the basement made up especially for you. You should check it out. Mm. All right. Thanks, Grace. A special room in the basement. That's cool. Uh, Gris Drydus, the former captain of the Stinger Mantis. Gris Drydus is the proprietor of Pyloon Saloon, a sleepy cantina located in the outpost of Rambler's Reach on Kobo. Let's see, M6NK, Monk, the droid bartender at Pyloon Saloon and Gris's business partner. So they're partners, that's cool. Armed with an encyclopedic knowledge of libations, he keeps tabs on troublemakers. Just looking at all the details here. I think it's Urabesh written up there, but I can't tell what it is. Grease always had an eye for eccentric art. Okay, I'm assuming he means what's on the wall back there and not this obvious stool. <laughs> so where's that room at again? The room? Oh, kid, you're gonna love it. Just take a right after the bar, through the kitchen, and down the stairs. You can't miss it. Right. Thanks again, Grease. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can thank me by getting some shut-eye. You really do look terrible. Get some rest. We'll talk more later. I'm kind of happy for Grease, especially after uh, Jedi Battle Scars, that it seems like he has uh, taken a little bit of time off possibly permanent retirement. It's a really cool bar with the fish back there. I like that. You don't look like a raider. What gave it away? No blaster in my face, no spilling drinks and shouting bloody murder. Oh, cute Troy, too. That's BD1. I'm Cal. About dang time we had some new faces in town. I'm Zig, by the way. Nice to meet you. Zig Souza, a mechanic and gearhead who has lived in small frontier communities her entire life. She has a heart of gold and is always helping folks in need without an eye towards personal gain. Well, that's definitely somebody you want in your town. Whoa. Look, uh, th it's a cage. It's a Kitfisto not Nautilin. Is that the name of their species? I'll find out. See yourself. Okay. Uh, this character looks too cool not to be something later, but I mean, even their cubby is cool looking. Uh, okay. Yeah, from Glia Slim. That's right. It's where you can pick up a Valacord. This stage has seen better days. We need to get Max Rebo to play here. Oh! Who are you? Well, what do you have to say to yourself? Okay. Is there a problem? I could have sworn I heard you stirring up a raider-sized problem just outside. I didn't start that fight. Well, it certainly seems you finished it. I'm gonna guess the same uh, species as Luminara. That can't be up to code, even out here on the frontier. And Barris. 
So take a right, the storeroom, and then down the stairs. I hope the pace isn't too slow for you guys. I just like to spend a Basement lot of time here. looking around. Okay, I have a room down here. Wow. Gray's cool. really outdid himself. New characters and conversations are available at Pylune Saloon. Kobo's pretty far from the nearest trade route. Looks like Grease makes do with salvage. Okay, there's a workbench here. That's cool. <laughs> Grease's laundry over here. Also cool. We got a bed. I'm guessing just for... To relax, okay, so that'll probably heal me up. Let's go ahead and do that. Cal could really use some sleep, I bet. And he sleeps fully clothed, weirdo. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Does some things never change? Weirdo. Hairball. Thanks for letting me crash here. Of course. Why do you think I've kept your stuff around all these years? I was hoping you'd stop by and maybe take a break. You both know what happens when I stay in one place too long. You said there's a spare gyro around here somewhere? We've got plenty of time to fix the madness. You are what I want to talk about. I'm fine. The sooner we get moving, the better. I do feel like Cal needs to talk. Trouble with Saw Guerrero? Maybe. Yeah, one of us has to keep fighting. That's funny. That's the exact same thing you said the day we all split up. Yeah, because I... Yeah, he's angry about it. He doesn't feel like he can rest. I know you all had your reasons for leaving. But walking away isn't an option for me. I have to hold the line. And where's that guy in your cow? But I wish things were different, but you keep losing people. And you yourself said that the Empire is growing stronger every day. Now, maybe it's time for you to be something more than a lightsaber. Think about yourself. Settle down. Find a home. What? A home, Grease. There is no home. Home was the Order. It was my teacher. It was everyone I lost. What does their sacrifice mean if I go and I just give up and stick my head in the sand? I know you were dealt a bad hand, but you gotta take it from me. Somebody who had to learn the hard way. You gotta know when to walk away from a rigged game, otherwise you are gonna end up losing something you could never replace. I feel like Cal just has such responsibility being a Jedi. This is a smuggler's tunnel. It came with the cantina. Oh, okay. Now you go ahead and look. I keep a lot of spare parts down there. I'm sure you'll be able to find whatever you need to get the Manus up and running. Thanks. I appreciate all this. Cal, can I tell you one thing? It's really good seeing you. Yeah, you too. Grease, I'll think about what you said. Hey, uh, watch your step down there. Be careful. I definitely have a pest problem. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll head down that way. I just wanted to... Check out the rest of the stuff here. Pylon Saloon, the Mantis, its system's failing, barely makes it to Kobo. This is just kind of re not rehashing, but letting us know what all happened just if we need to go back. So 
He convinces Cal to rest in a spare room to set up a long... Okay, yeah. Uh, what's this? Some type of plant terrarium. You always had a green thumb, Grease. Yeah. Grace needed some fresh air. The previous owners of this place were smugglers. They didn't exactly prioritize ventilation, you know? <laughs> what's this? Huh. My old scrapper outfit. Why did Grease keep this? I know. <laughs> Creepy. Creepy. <laughs> That's cool. What's Sears Halleck set doing here? I don't remember. After we all split up, I was unpacking it. <laughs> there it was. Maybe she was hoping you'd learn. Uh, no, thank you. I think I can hear it opening, but nothing's happening. Oh, that's doing it. Okay. Let's meditate. There is only the force. That was a nice reunion. Um, definitely understand what Grease is going through, especially because, I mean, he's a little bit more advanced in age than Cal is, but Cal just feels all this responsibility as well. I mean, he's a force user. He's Jedi trained. And as we saw outside with Ravis, I mean, he has so much to offer people, especially in a galaxy under the boot of the Empire. So it's probably especially hard for him to even consider giving up because all he's done since the Jedi fell is survive and then start helping people. And there's so many people to help. So I don't think he can even think about quitting, which I think makes sense why he... Uh, not judges his friends for doing something different, but maybe feels almost a little jealous that they can, where he doesn't feel like he can. It's kind of what it seems like is going on here, but really cool. <sighs> All right, let's uh, let's go back here. Smugglers old tunneling tunnels, huh? Where he's always kept a few secrets up his sleeve. No way out. One of the one of several tunnels routing beneath Pylon Saloon. Proximity to the landing pad would have made the passage ideal for smuggling goods in and out of the cantina, hidden from prying and curious eyes. Halus skillet. Oh yeah, the seven-stringed Halus skillet once belonged to the Jedi Seer Junda, who composed music with it. Using psychometry, Cal was able to play it, which is perhaps why Seer left it with him after she departed the Mantis. Where's the boggling? Oh! Ouch. Oh my god, are you okay? Oh, you okay? You okay? Boglings. Are these what spooked Grease? They're okay, bud. Have you been spooking Grease down here? It's alright. Okay, I guess we need to go around. <coughs> I didn't expect this to be like a level down here. That looks like it might have spooked Grease. And you guys... Ah! And you guys get me from down there? I don't think you can. Careful around here, bud. Nobody's used these tunnels for a long time now. 
Ah, okay, well, I'm gonna need to attack. I tried to let you live. A gorger is indigenous to the planet Kobo. The lithe and agile gorgers have learned to stalk and corner their prey with a desperate efficiency. Known as hunters to the locals, a gorger is naturally curious, only striking when certain, lunging with sharpened claws and hungry lethal fangs. Skill point acquired, cool. Nope, can't do that. Dusty and abandoned. Scraps, huh? Leave it to Grease to take another person's junk and add more junk. Can I turn this off? Okay, what we got going on here? This must be what we're looking for. Is that it? Moon Empress has a hydrate on Twitch. BD! Oh! Oh! Oh, we're going... Oh my god, we're going deep. Oh! Holy crap! Never look when you can leap. Hey. That looked painful. Uh. The sooner we get to Greece, the sooner we can... We should check this out. Well, where are we? Well, let's meditate. Set. This looks old. What is this? Almost reminds me of the Jedi training grounds. 
Yeah. He's different. Older. Oh. Well, I misjudged that jump. like crystal that reminds me of the iridescence of the tar up on the surface what's that what'd you find <coughs> huge masses of rock fell through the roof and slammed into the subterranean uh, sanctuary indicating intense seismic activity above ground See if we can hit the lights. Chamber of Duality. Uh, I'll come back here. I kind of want to see if I can explore this room anymore. I think I just came from there. Yeah, here we go. Looks like a data disk. Data disk. Okay. All right, Chamber of Duality. Let's go. Interesting. Solid fluid. Kind of reminds me of the uh, proto molecule from Expanse. Where'd BD1 go? We got bud. We doing? So you just you're not scanning? Okay. Void? Careful, BD. The ancient looking droid. Psychometry. Whoa! I came as soon as I could, Master Creed. The High Republic. The High Republic was an era of expansion and exploration, with Jedi helping lead the push to discover the greater galaxy and fold willing planets into the galactic community. The dangers that lay on the edge of their understanding, however, would prove a constant challenge. Holy shit, okay. Dorit has come to this. Will it be a complete memory purge? No. Only what the Council demanded. Then at least... I shall remember you. I am ready. What is your name, droid? I am CNA4, of course. How may I serve the order? 
Zee. Tell me how to navigate the Kobo Abyss. Kobo Abyss, that's what... I have what no information on that in my memory banks. Master Creed, you are aware the Republic has issued a full-scale evacuation order. I am. That is why I have a very important task for you, Z. Take this. The tuna? Oh, what a fine model. Whoa. Use that to open the forest array. Travel underground. Stop for no one. That is an order, Z. Am I not coming with you? No. The key to Tanalor is in that array. If you do not hurry, Tanalor. I fear it will be lost forever. May the force be with you. Okay. That's an old memory. I think this droid has been here for hundreds of years. Z? Yes, it is. How do you... Oh, no! I'm trapped. I've been trapped for... How long has it been? Uh, poor Z. I'm Cal. This is BD. We're gonna help you. Pleasure to meet you, Eric. Some help would be most appreciated. Can I not just cut you free? Zian A4. Z is a droid from the High Republic era. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I I didn't know we were going to go into High Republic stuff. This is cool. Uh, I would assume there's no spoilers for some High Republic. I've only read the first two, and I'm currently reading third High Republic stuff. So uh, we'll see. Uh, tasked by Jedi Master uh, Santari Kree to recover the key to Tantalor. She immediately takes to Cal, although she questions his unconventional attire. <laughs> yeah, High Republic had a, a different way of dressing. It was really cool. Okay. Um, and then they also mentioned the Kobo Abyss, which is whatever that anomaly up in the sky as we were coming in is. Very mysterious. Okay. Okay, we need to free Z, but I can't just cut those things, I, I, I guess, off. Suppose I need one of these things. You are a Jedi. My is completely shot. Not completely, Z. I'm a Jedi, all right. But you're not even wearing the proper robes. <laughs> I'm more of a poncho guy. Yes, I am more of a poncho guy. I want my poncho. I played with my... Oh, dang it, I want a poncho. I don't know. Apparently it's behind a boss and it's going to be not easy to get. Which makes sense because it is a high, high value item. Okay. Put you here. Use the orbs to activate the bridge. Then you can reach the crane controls. Uh, I think... After so many idle years, who really knows? This droid's got more than a screw loose. What was that? I, uh, said, hold tight, Z. Maybe Z could tell us more about this. 
have two data disk. Okay. took them. I was knighted in the field. And what was the reason for this flagrant breach of protocol? It's a long story. Yes, I am a Boken Jedi, I think. <laughs> Even though I was trained at the temple, I didn't finish my training. Is this door open? No. Jedi paint. Cool. Take a look. You have discovered a perk. Different types of perks can be found throughout the game and can change the way you play significantly. You start with three available perk slots. The slots can be unlocked as you progress. Especially powerful perks may require multiple slots. Perks can be viewed at any time in the perks section of the abilities menu. Currently equipped perks can be managed at meditation points. Yeah. Hmm. We could have been down here forever. Okay, perks. Um. Block meter is increased. Only equipped at meditation points. Okay. Oh, be careful. Don't want to destroy Z while I just freed her. Z, that planet you mentioned. 
What's it like? Tanalo? Oh, what a wondrous place. How do I get there? Navigate the Kobo list. That must be the knowledge your master perched from your memory banks. Well, she must have had her reasons. Oh, this way. Okay. That was. Who can hear that? How such a sweetheart. You might not be wearing a proper attire, but now I am certain you are a Jedi. It's gotta feel good. Come on. I'll be there in a moment, Cal. Don't wait on my behalf. Oh, such strange buildings. Oh my, what is that? Guessing I'm gonna go this way. Uh, not a Bebum Raider spy. I'm oh, a boat's here. Alcestis. Kale, what? Yay! Oh, buddy, you're in the wrong cantina. I don't know anybody named Cal Kestis. <laughs> Greaseau, you're good, good man. Cal Found the gyro. You made it. Good to see you, Cal. Grease Dritus. That's cool. This is Bodakuna. He was on Coruscant. Really like his outfit. When I made it out alive without his help. Oh, all right. Hi, right, nice to meet you. Unfortunately, I don't think I have another bed available. Wait a minute. Another one? Cal, you have a very bad habit of picking up strays. I am ZNA4, humble servant to the Jedi Order. Oh, I take it you haven't broken the news yet. She was trapped underground. I've never seen this design before. This droid almost looks like an antique. Did you find anything down there worth credits? Credits? Ha! Ah. You have saved me, but I must ask more of you still. Oh, here it comes. Master Centauri ordered me to open the forest array, but given my condition, I cannot fulfill that duty. Please. If I fail my mission, the key to Tanalor may be lost forever. Wait a minute. Did you just say Tanalor? Do you know that? You've heard of it? Yeah, it's an old prospector's <clears throat> legend about a lost world filled with treasure. Maybe this droid proves it's more than a myth. Could be worth checking out. Yeah, but first, I gotta fix the menace before the raider snatch it. I'll escort you out there. Watch your back while you make the repairs. Oh. Is he as tough as he looks? <laughs> Next to Seer, he's the best marksman I've ever met. Okay. We'll take care of the menace. I'll go see what's in the forest. Thank you, Cal. As soon as I make the operating order, I will join you in the forest array. Onward! Uh, Z. Whoa there, Heritage. While they're all shouting and forth, why don't you ease up on the thrusters? Come along. I can get you tuned up, shined up, and, uh, <clears throat> thought up on the state of the galaxy. <laughs> Cal, I'm going to lock up the saloon so the raiders don't trash it. My Use the back door, would you? Okay. Explore Pylon Saloon. Thanks to Cal's efforts, the Reach Outpost is steadily improving. New shops and activities are now available. Uh, the shop is unlocked. Doma Shop, is the Kobo Outpost, is now accessible. Rare minerals found across Kobo can be spent here. Hey, I've already found a couple of those... Uh, Pyrite shards, whatever they're called, and recruit for the outpost across the galaxy. Cal can meet new residents who can help improve Rambler's Reach outpost. Make sure to return here after recruiting them to Kobo. Oh, that's so cool! We can really like interact with this town. Awesome. Axa activates High Republic technology. Okay, this is cool. Relax. 
You're in safe hands. You'll be all right, Grease. If you say so. I gotta talk to everybody. Good to see you landed on your feet, Cal. So how'd everything turn out? Bravo's gone. I had a feeling. I'm really sorry, Cal. I know how much he meant to you. He was a good friend. We all were. I'll miss him. Definitely not your standard crew. I could tell that from the start. Yeah. Gabs, Bravo, the twins. We were close. I understand. Just remember that you're not alone in all this. Glad you're here, bud. I got your back, brother. That's nice. So how is Kobo? You get away from it all like you wanted? Oh, I had to, kid. Away from the Empire, the Hexian Brood. <laughs> Escape all the Hexian trouble. Hexian Brood. Trouble always seems to find us, Grease. Haven't you learned that by now? <laughs> no kidding. Just like that old droid, huh? You think Z is trouble? Are you chaffing me? She sticks out like potpourri in a pottery. Uh, not that I'm too picky. You meet any more lost souls with sob stories, send them over to Pylon, do you hear? Place could use a little trouble. Thanks for looking after Grease while I chase down this lead. Twice the arms, twice the fun, right? More like twice the trouble. Ooh, can't wait. I really love the dialogue in this Keep game. Keep an eye on Grease for me, all right? Don't worry, Cal. You handle the mystery in the forest. I'll handle Grease. You worry about the array, whatever that is. We'll handle the Mantis. I have to exhaust all my options. You know, I heard today about some type of... Uh, AI agreement that SAG AFTRA made with video uh, when it comes to video game characters, and uh, obviously I saw a lot of uh, voice actors that were not happy with that agreement. But getting past the getting past the the ethical part, of it, I want to hear this. But getting past like the ethical part of AI stuff like this, whenever you're like, wait, do I can I keep talking to the person? I really feel like AI is going to change a decent amount of dialogue when it comes to video games. Like, to the point where you might be able to just continue to speak to an NPC as long as you want. Because it'll be able to make up dialogue and replicate a voice. Which is kind of exciting, but again, there's a lot of weirdness when it comes to uh, making sure voice actors and people's voices aren't being abused and taken advantage of. So maybe some type of like licensing thing or something like that. But I know that it's weird. And I think that there's going to be a lot of rockiness and a lot of trying to figure it out. But it is kind of exciting to think about what the future will hold with that type of thing. But uh, I do understand some people being very, very against it. And I will listen to the voice actors in terms of how they think that their art needs to be used. But just on the... Getting away from the, the moral ethics of it, just the practicality, the technology, that could be kind of interesting, but it's also one of those things where it's like, well, I want to hear all the dialogue. If there's an infinite amount of dialogue, I can't ever hear it all, so that's kind of a weird thing, too. Just something I've been thinking about, and uh, I know that uh, it's a very turbulent subject, so... All right. Hey, I've seen some dives in my day. None of them have half the character of Pyloons. Who's it named after? My great-grandma. Taught me everything I know about cooking. Really? Oh, I'm starving. Yeah? Uh, maybe I'll fix you something when I'm free. Can't wait. See, there's more degrees. Go on. I gotta focus on sussing out your boy here. Okay. Well, I can't. You, you still want... You're still prompting me to talk to you! I wonder if Kobo will have any legends about me. <laughs> Maybe I'll go spread a rumor or two. Okay. Must not get a lot of business here. You scrap anything useful out here? Tons. As soon as something breaks with the Raider show face, folks have been in their projects. So, Kobo's a gold mine for scrappers like us. <laughs> you got that right. Kobo's a big planet. There's gotta be someone out there who thinks like me. Do. Coming right up, Heritage. Coming right up. 
But something tells me you'd appreciate the soap more after we chat. Strap yourself in. I fear this update might be a little hard to process. I kind of want to hear this. Oh, now I can bear a little bad news. Stay new detail. Well, where to start? Uh, okay, a few years ago, the Supreme Chancellor decided democracy was out of fashion and declared himself emperor. The Republic is no more? I'm afraid so. In fact, these days, you'd be hard-pressed to name a planet free from imperial control. Calamitous indeed. Calamitous. Heritage, you're looking a little low on power. What say we pause a tick so you can regain your bearings? Yes. Perhaps that would be best. Does this person speak to me now? Weird bucket of bolts you dragged in. Well, actually, she's a droid from the High Republic. Don't care. Run along now. I can see why you sit alone. <laughs> okay, something's up with you. You're too cool looking to to be just a background character. Hey Z, know anything about that forest array? My memory banks are coming up short, Cal, but it is surely the work of Master Cree. How do you know? In her time, she had no equal. There were other scientists and technicians, yes, but all that you see here on Kobo is her work, one way or another. Not now, Cal. Why don't we catch up once you've returned from the forest array? Another time, yes. I'm waiting my oil bath. Still here, Cal? That array won't open itself, you know. I'm sorry, I have to do all the prompts. So how long have you known Bo? Not long. We worked together on Coruscant. And what line of work exactly? A little of this, a little of that. I see. Say no more, Cal, say no more. I know when I'm about to step in it. Actually, that reminds me of a colorful expression from Calistar. If you stand beneath the Presta Bird nest, rain will come even in the desert. <laughs> and when the rain comes, you best get out of the way. Right. Cal, let's chat later. Z and I are catching up on the state of the galaxy. Sorry, Cal, but I'm busy attending to Heritage here. Well, that reminds me, I should check on that oil bath soon. Monk kind of reminds me of a uh, CO. Is it C O O K droid? Like a cook droid from episode two? Apologies, champ, but I'm a tad busy with your And uh, Book of Boba Fett? Maybe another time. You brought that droid in? Saved her too, huh? Just helped her get back on her feet. And he asked for nothing in return. Well, she did let me hang on to her tuner key. Ooh, a tuner key? What? You found a real one? That's right. Do you think I could maybe... You uh... can't borrow it. <laughs> uh, I, I like Thurgle. Listen, friend. What's your name? It's Cal. Moran. Charmer. You seem a decent sort, Cal. Look, maybe you're just the latest fool to get tangled up with the Bedlam Raiders, or maybe you're the real deal. But this place will bleed you dry. Understand? Get out while you can. Noted. Talk later, hmm? Okay, Moran. A washed up trader whose best days are behind him. Moran whiles away his hours in a saloon bemoaning the empire that destroyed his livelihood. Okay, uh, is that everybody's dialogue in here? Nope. Did you hear what happened? I heard you nearly died. I was crestfallen. It was harrowing. Really made me think about my life, you know. I don't want to die a washed no, up. No, he's not chess. On the far edge of the galaxy, wouldn't that be just dreadful? I couldn't even begin to imagine. But will I try? But now I'm a frog reborn. That's surely worth buying me a drink to celebrate. You never miss a chance, do you? You have a slimy sense for business opportunities, I'll give you that. But this one's a bust. Go see if someone else will fall for it. I feel like my cow is a obvious eavesdropper, but... I need to listen. I want to hear. How long have you known Cal? Don't tell me that kid didn't even mention me. He doesn't volunteer too much. Probably trying to protect the people he cares about. 
Well, you're missing out, buddy. Oh, oh boy, the stunts we got up to. Oh, legendary. Seer, me, Cal, the space witch. <laughs> Wait, did he mention a space witch? No, I think I'd remember that detail. Walking back and forth, make sure I'm not missing anything. I think that might be it, at least for now. Monk, I must know. Nope. What the the Jedi Order? Ah, right. The Order. That's quite the story, Z. On second thought, how's about I tell you all that after the oil bath? Of course, if you think it's best. Oh, I wanted to hear it. Excuse me? I see, I hear, I listen. I taste. What is happening here? Wait, no, Mara. Don't engage. Heard you talking about steam <laughs> shipments a while back. Were you a big shot business guy? Oh, oh, did you blow it? Why else would you end up here? Uh, that's... I suppose if you sniff around long enough, you're bound to eventually find dirt. I was right? What's keeping the secret worth to you? I don't think so, my desperate friend. But, to your credit, you have exceeded my expectations. Granted, they were breathtakingly low expectations, but nevertheless, let that be your reward. I hope it's not too boring for you guys to just watch me walk around this place. Oh, there's a... There's an area over here. Ah, the refresher. I can interact with it. I don't want to know how this got there. Okay. I might have used the... Oh! Is this a gonk gentleman servant? He has a little tuxedo! <laughs> Oh, hi, buddy. Look at your little tux. Oh, that's so cool. Let's wash up. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. Oh, my God. Hey, buddy, how are you? <laughs> Let's clean it up a little, buddy. Yep, the water's still green, okay. Uh, what are these over here? Ravis has, like, a wanted poster, it looks like. And it's warning people to stay away from battle droids. I can't read Arabesh very well, so... I don't know what those all say. Ugh. Definitely. It gets anxious around there. I can't believe I almost missed the bathroom. What a terrible thing that would have been. Wait. The Boglings have a poster, too. Hmm. So, just two arms, huh? Yeah, but don't worry. I got your back. Oh, yeah? Like you helped Cal and Coruscant? We helped each other. That's how we made it out alive. That time. Look. Let me tell you something, not for you, for my friend. Be careful with him. If you get in trouble, Cal gets in trouble. He doesn't like to leave friends behind. That stupid, loyal Jedi jerk. I hear you, Grease. Have we done it? Have we exhausted the dialogue? I think we have! Trust Grease to make drinks. Well, he's a fine cook, sure, but he's got no taste for tonics. Very well. I can wait. 200 years of camping. There's still more. 
I'm gonna keep doing it. I have to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, Moran. Oh, please, no. You wouldn't turn down the opportunity of a lifetime, would you? Stop it. Because I have a business proposition that will make your eye stem spin. Let me make this eminently clear. I have, in my time, struck deals with every flavor of unsavory scamp you can imagine. Uh -huh. I have funded ventures so risky they would make a hot skip breakfast. Uh -huh. But I would sooner feed my credits to a monkey lizard than go into business with the likes <laughs> of you. He with said that small, with such contempt. No. Oh, that's funny. We gotta keep going. We have to exhaust the dialogue. There's so many more shops and stuff in this town. And they want me to bring more people. If you need a hand, we're an oasis in the sand. Then if you die in a thirst, well, a drink they ain't the worst. And if you're running from a blaster, better run a little faster. Run to Pylone Saloon. And we hope we see you soon. Oh, What a beautiful song. The dialogue cannot be infinite. It can't. Okay. Alright, everybody. I'm sorry. I think we're good. I think we can leave out the back now. Do you guys have anything to say? I bet you that one door that wasn't open earlier will open now. Oh man, okay, let's meditate. Okay, so here we have the perks. So I can equip the perk now. I can use up to three. Okay, cool. Um, we'll rest. We don't have any skills. We can do fast travel now. Hey, that wasn't in the first game, was it? I don't remember it. Ready to go. Ah. That's the gate Z told us about. Okay, that's where the forest array is going to be. There's so much to explore, though. So, okay, I know that I just used my time very wisely in the cantina. Uh, I'll leave this up to you. Just put it in the chat. Should I go right for the forest array now, or should I explore more of the town? Um, I'm going to go a little bit longer today just because I did spend a long time in the cantina. What do you guys think? Uh, the town, explore the town. Explore, explore! Okay, yeah, we're going to spend a lot more time exploring the town before we do the forest array. Maybe the forest array is a direction we'll go in uh, next week. So let's explore. Let's go over to... Where is Doma's outpost? That was over here on the other side where the cantina entrance is, right? Yeah, I think it's this green sign building here. So let's go check out Doma. The uh, de facto mayor. Cool design. Where'd you go, BD? All over here. Okay, he's at the. Uh, all right, gotcha. Man, everything is so fucking detailed and beautiful in this game. Ah, oh, it's a wart. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, war is the thing that's outside Jabba's palace in the special edition of Return of the Jedi that eats up the little frog thing. Quality wears 100% guaranteed. Oh! Mysterious key code. This key code will open the locked door in Doma's sh shop. Why don't you come back when you have enough? Okay. 
So that's 10 shards, which I don't have enough. So I might need to save up. What's some other stuff we got here? Oh my god. Look at these hairstyles. This one's actually not too bad. <laughs> Uh, I like the little hollow uh, preview you get. That's kind of cool. Oh, man. This one's kind of cool looking. Oh, look at the mustache, though. Ooh, take a look at that. Cool jacket. That's all. Is that? This is Dash Rindar's outfit. Holy shit. Am I right about that? Is that not straight up Dash Rindar's outfit from... Shadows of the Empire? Yes, it is. Holy crap. That's so cool. Um, okay, this is cool. This is kind of You're careful, painting Kyle you? Katarnish. That's one of my favorites. Sleeveless. The Outrider. Hmm, okay. This one... So these are... Okay, there's an outrider. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that outrider is part of a dash rendar. Yeah, dash rendar set. So I could buy all of the outrider set and make a complete dash rendar outfit. Okay, that makes sense. Holy crap! Crap, that's so cool. The outrider is the name of uh, dash rendar ship. Uh, Shadows of the Empire being one of my favorite slash first major Star Wars games that I really love, so that's cool. You like that one. Music track? They can be played at Pylon Saloon. Oh, okay, that's cool. Man, I gotta find way more of these shards, because this is some cool stuff. Um, oh, that's a nice one. I think for now, I'm going to save up to try to get this mysterious key code. Take care of yourself, will you? Well, take a look. You'll find the finest components in sundries this side of the outer rim. Now that's a Doma Dendra guarantee. Hear that, buddy? A guarantee. That's right. Shop built on trust and quality, and I aim to keep it that way. Just... One line of dialogue? Weird. So, this door will open whenever we can get ten shards. So, let's uh, let's hold off on buying anything right now. Or maybe it's... No? This is a, ba a different door, okay. All right, um, we need to explore. Let's find a good reference point to start. So this is the cantina. So let's go over here. Oh, I saw someone standing here, but there's someone over here. Oh, it's you. Oh, hey, this is the prospector that we saw. You're the new guy, right? Is it? No, it's not. Never mind. Sorry, I missed that. Same Say helmet, that though. Again? I didn't say anything. All oh, right. Must be that ringing in my ears. The other day, this roller mine blew up, nearly took my head off. There is a building just off the path to Dredge Canyon. That's where the roller nearly got me. I bet they're guarding something useful, but I'm not going back there. Maybe we'll check it out. Be my guest and be careful. This ringing in my ears is driving me crazy. <laughs> that voice was great. Why do I uh, do I recognize that voice actor? That's so funny. You check out those rollers in the building yet? Still working on it. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay, uh, let's go over and talk to these guys again. Uh, let's see, real 3R1K with a super chat over on YouTube. Time to unwind after work. How you? How are you, Eric? Hope all is well, and hope you're enjoying the game so far. I'm enjoying the game greatly, and all I'm doing right now is literally just exhausting dialogue options, but 
I'm weird like that. So uh, hopefully you guys aren't too uh, bored with this, but I'm having a real good time. Uh, it's Sam Regal. Oh, is it? It's uh, from uh, Critical Role? Okay, cool. Awesome. Huh. Hey, fellas. How long you been together? Too, too long. long. <laughs> we were one of the first people here and both tried scouting for Priorite. Had zero idea what we were doing. Couldn't find anything. Then I remembered I hate the outdoors. And I got a sunburn on my gastrodermis. Not fun. Is his beard off of his of face? The most pathetic, bumbling prospector ever to walk the planet. Rumsey Forlow. Me too. Of course, we both started making fun of clumsy Rumsey. I laughed at Gulu Zingers. And I at Guido's. And we've been stuck together ever since. Because we shared something special. Rumsey was a loser. Still puts a smile on my <laughs> face. Man, dude, the dialogue on this is great. All right, Gulu, a cantankerous old timer, uh, and his lifelong partner Guido, a cantankerous old timer, spend all day, every day, lounging around in front of the local saloon. They roast, joke about, and tease everyone and everything that dare cross into their field of view. That's cool. But uh, what's not cool is this visual glitch of his beard just not sticking to his face. I would be devastated if that happened to Cal, because Cal looks so cool right now. So long. Ah, you troublemaker. Okay. Uh, oh, man, it's so much. Which direction do we go in now? Uh, let's look at the map. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this town. Let's head... Let's see, there's something angle up that way. Stuff that way. Try to stick within the village perimeter right now. You don't have anything new to say. Open. Oh, you can go back in here? You can. Okay, cool. Uh, using the High Republic stuff. Hello there. Hello there. Twenty cycles ago, heard this town was nothing but a few shacks. Now look at it. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I could go back there, see what was really like to rough it. You could always head into the wilderness and start your own town. I think I'll stay here, thanks. Yeah, the town does. The town does feel a little sparse, but. The fact that we're going to be able to recruit people and make the place feel a little bit bigger and more lively is really cool. Kind of like, um, kind of like Assassin's Creed 2 in a way, huh? It's just so big. I, there's so many different options on where to go. Can I go into every building, or is it... What happened in here? Okay, I feel like I need a remote bomb to clear this out. Or can I destroy it with a lightsaber? I cannot. Is their remote bomb close? There's a thing here, too. Hmm. go in here. Might be something I just can't do right now.
They don't look friendly. Okay. We need to use this. That's how you do it. I thought we sliced it. Can I not get in there? This place has crazy security. All right, I guess not. Maybe we need to be invisible. Hey, you. You're the one taking shots at the Raiders, right? That's me. Bad idea. The Raiders have got eyes all over the reach. What kind of eyes? Ravis has got a watchtower in the valley. Maybe I'll check it out. Figured you'd say that. Head towards the spires. Can't miss it. Of course, they won't miss you either. You know, because of the watchtower. All right, getting some more. Oh, rumor discovered. Okay. Nice. Oh, man, dude, there's so much going on right now. Okay, there's this uh, stables. The saloon there okay so much to do well look who it is keeping busy there's always something to do well you won't make a living talking to me unless you mean to rob me wasn't planning on it well then have a wonderful day <laughs> I like that you can talk and interact with pretty much everybody that you see So it seems like they only ha really have one thing to say. Okay. Well, um, we went to the shop. Do you guys think we should maybe start heading towards the uh, the forest array, or should I pick one of these directions to start going in? Because there's a lot of directions. What do you guys think? Forest array, open the gate, forest array, rumors. Uh, Guerrero, thank you for the uh, Amazon Prime subscription. Let's go check out the, uh, the stable. What's that? What is here? The door just open? There's a, sh what looks to be a shard in there, but can I get in there? Hmm. I keep hearing these, these noises, but I'm, I can't tell any direction, so. Okay, I think the... Able straight ahead. There's another big building over here. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe some type of lockup or prison. It was Where's locked. One get in there.
Hey, Cal. Glad you came to Kobo, Cal. You're a hard worker, aren't you? You're always putting others before yourself. How can you tell? A smudge of dirt on your pants, a whiff of adrenaline. Your eyes dart for danger, alert. I call it hunter's eyes. To trap game, a hunter refines her ability to observe. But for the record, your friendly demeanor don't fool me one bit. That right. Oh, yeah. You're a natural hunter, and you damn well know it. Who taught you to hunt, Mosey? Well, I grew up in a large family. My siblings and I competed with one another for attention, praise, food sometimes. Had to be the strongest to stand out. Sounds intense. Yeah, Mama was hardest on me. Always pointing out a mistake, criticizing my techniques. That must have toughened you up. Yeah, it likely did. But I've come to resent it. Probably the reason why I flung myself here. I barely knew my parents. Yeah. Well, that ain't always a bad thing now, is it? Hmm. How did Boglings end up on Kobo? Yeah. You can thank Grease for that. Yep. We brought him here on accident. Is what yep. I've heard, at least. Invasive Riders species. Them droves. I've seen him. Aww. How would anyone oh. kill a Bogling? Exactly. You can't eat him. Can't skin him. Can't even trade with him. One of the Bedlam Raider Chiefs used to shoot him for fun. Just point me in his direction. Yep. Don't bother. I will not feel bad for a, a raider ever in this game. Later, BD. They're very Tauntaun esque, aren't they? Okay. Well, I'm not sure how to get in there. And I understand I have a lightsaber, but I don't think that will work. I'm sorry the That's raiders it. shoot you. Poor Boggling. Okay. Uh, well, that's the town right now. Let's remove this beacon. This is the direction we need to go for our story mission. Let's do a rumor. Let's pick this rumor over here. This is where we want to go. So we'll head towards this undiscovered area here. Uh, let's see. I'm going in the right direction, right? Just gotta go pretty much straight in the direction I'm going now. Uh, Tuscan Raider, though, with the super chat. Explore for sure, but I say that exploring feels better after you come back from the array. Regardless, the journey is still pretty wizard. Well, you know, I'll do one, and then I'll probably come back, and I think I'm going to start the array uh, early next stream, because we got about 15, maybe 20 minutes left or so um, for this stream. So I'm just going to go ahead and start this rumor and see where it takes me, because I'm kind of interested to look. Oh, look down here. What's this? Hunter's Quarry. Oh. Okay, we got some enemies over here. Some battle droids. Look at this, man. This is kind of a General Grievous effigy here. Kind of creepy. Uh, Ruskin Tater. Sorry, Ruskin. <laughs> um, Moon Empress, though. Eric, did my sub appear? I'm sorry. I, I tried to, but I do have two uh, stream chats open now, so I'm sorry if I missed your sub. Uh, bought the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga and already got most of the things in the boarding party level and got all the circle money things. Now to the next level when they get R2-D2 and C-3PO. Cool. Awesome. Well, I've really enjoyed 
the Lego games, so I hope that you enjoy them, too. All right, um, okay, let's see here. Uh, rumor detail. Wait, I want to hit the rumor detail button. Okay, I have to hold it. Okay, investigate the roller mine factory. A prospector damaged his hearing due to the roller mine explosion. They say there's a building that seems to be guarded by them. It might be worth exploring. Investigate the roller, investigate the raider. I think is the rate which we're on the raider one right now, right? I'm not really sure. We'll, we're just going to go in though. You're going down. You can buy it at least. I get it. They're weird things. I'd like to know what's in them, too. But we don't have that kind of time or resource. So, no. And please stop asking. Prospectors on Kobo were interested in the fastest and easiest ways of getting paid. Requests to investigate mysterious and seemingly impossible to enter monoliths, therefore, were met with swift denials. Monoliths. Light metal materials for BD1. What are those things up in the sky there? Is there... Am I missing something? Is there anything else in here? Rumors off to the side. I didn't hear what they were going to say, though. Probably was going to have something to do with this blasted door. Damn. Got too close. I don't think I can get in there. Bugling? Okay. What's this? Mechanical touch. The output is small, but continuing to grow. The development means my knack for mechanics has attracted attention. I was asked to help. He did not want me to, but I did. 
think by automating some of the sphere grenades, we could figure something out. Okay. So is this behind the weird looking door? It is. Okay, we have another shard here. Interested in this. Yep. Here's another I'll check it out. Journal. A gift revoked. The others dig too much. They damage the cubes. Enough. Enough. The spheres will stop them. They will stay away from the cubes. Or else. Hmm. Okay. What is this? Oh! Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can come this way. Yep. Up, 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 up! Up here. Grab you. That blows up, okay. Give me another one. All right, follow. Okay, cool. Rumor complete. So the uh, the grenades that guy was talking about is the roller mines. Okay, well, we can probably go back and talk to uh, the person that can't hear very well. And we should have enough shards to open up that door uh, at the... What is that? What are those? Are these? Yeah, the creatures are. Ah! No, hurts. Can I hurt them? Those are creatures. Ugh. Bromlick. Uh, when approached, the spines that cover the Bromlick's entire spherical body extend outwards, deterring all threats. As such, they're known as spikers by the locals. They are easily dispatched, but are most but are mostly content to let strangers be if they are in turn left in peace. Oh no, I killed three. <laughs> I didn't need to. Oh man. Uh, okay. Well, that sucks. Alright, we're gonna head back into town. I, uh, I have to admit, I mean, I know the pace is a little different in the first game. Wait, no. I can probably bring, I can probably bring that all the way here, can I? Yeah, I got to. Okay. I'm sorry, we gotta keep going. It's fine. We're all fine here, now. Can it, will that thing follow me all the way back? Probably will. It's just going to take a bit. Gotta see if my theory is correct that I can use this to blow up whatever that stuff was that's blocking up this house. Still following. Don't want to miss after doing all this. Hmm. Oh. Well, 
That didn't work. Okay. Um, we gotta go talk to the guy with the ringing ears. He should be around this corner. Hey! Found that building you told me about with the roller lights. Really? And how's your hearing? Mine's okay. Thanks for the warning. Lucky you! Find anything of value? I did stumble upon a stash. Oh, good. Well, you deserve it. Now, if only I could get rid of this ringing in my ears. Sorry, buddy. I can only use... Actually, I can't use Force Heal at all. I don't think stems will work. All right, All let's good. buy this mysterious key code. Yes. Okay. Yeah, some good for nothing raider triggered the security on my storeroom door, and now it's locked shut. Maybe your little droid can use this encrypted backup code to get it open. My goodness, you unlocked it. Feel free to take whatever you can make use of. Okay. What's in here? Well, there seems to be a chest back here. What is it? Oh, it's a stem. Okay, awesome. What have we got here? Yeah, that's so worth it. Hell yeah. Max stems increased. What is it? Where are we at now? Four or five? Going pretty good. Okay, I feel good about that. All right. Um, I think we're probably going to stop there. I realized that I probably didn't get as far as some people wanted me to. Uh, there's a lot to do here uh, on Kobo, obviously. We got... I mean, what about what all happened this stream? And we had Ravis show up, who is a Gendai that's gonna be bonkers to take on, and he's over there at the battleship. Um, we got to get to the forest array because we met a droid from the High Republic. I mean, that's there's some crazy stuff going on, and I feel like I didn't even really get to really sink my teeth into too much this stream, but it was a lot of fun. I had a great time. And I legitimately enjoyed listening to all that dialogue in the cantina. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I am gonna be at this game for a while. Uh, that's not a problem for me. If you guys have uh, your Monday nights and your Wednesday nights free for the next couple of months, we're probably gonna spend it playing some Jedi Survivor. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, a fantastic week. And come back for more Blind Wave whenever we're here. All right, everybody. I hope you had a good time. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.